Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday afternoon and this is about the time where my brain starts to wander into food and meals for the week. I generally plan out 99% um, of our meals. We do set aside a once or twice a week eat out, um, but this is when I start looking at the fridge and pantry and what have I got, what am I gonna cook. Um, Grocery day is in like two days, so we're kind of down to like, you know, all of our fresh produce has been eaten up except for, see over here, a few apples, um, which is good. We haven't thrown anything out, but I decided to throw together a meal for the freezer that we might eat next week, um, my pizza pasta bake. This is not the healthiest freezer meal, but I will say it's actually not super bad for you. It's kind of what I would call in the middle, <laughs> um, but it's good comfort food. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you. Sorry guys, I still don't have a vlogging camera. I don't have a tripod. <laughs> so cook, uh, vid videoing, cooking, um, I guess you would call it episodes are a little bit harder to do. So what I've done is kind of pre-prepped all the ingredients because this is a really fast, just mix it, throw it together and either bake it or put it in the freezer type of meal. Um, so I'm just going to show you, I have all the ingredients and everything set out, show you how I get it mixed up um, and then um, tell you, you know, how I freeze it and then how I bake it. So let's get started. Hey y'all, this is what we're going to get started with. I have already cooked up about half a bag of whole wheat egg noodles, shredded up some mozzarella cheese. I've got my freezer pan here. And then over here I've got a can of diced tomatoes, pizza sauce. Um, P.S. I read that the Walmart brand of pizza sauce does not have any added extra sugar. So that's good because they sneak sugar in everything now, especially sauces. Um, some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of Greek yogurt. I have some turkey pepperoni. I've chopped up some and left a few slices for the top of this. I had some spinach in the freezer. Chopped that up and of course some jalapenos. This is a great base for sneaking in veggies. If I had any extra onion or green pepper or zucchini or squash I would definitely chop it up and throw it in here um, so you know keep that in mind don't let all that good stuff go to waste throw it in anywhere you can and of course this recipe is totally customizable if you are watching your dairy definitely cut down on the cheese you can actually skip the Greek yogurt part I just do that to add a little bit of creaminess to the dessert or to the dessert well wow, <laughs> to the dish so you could absolutely customize this you could even make it kind of like a supreme and top it with sliced red onion and bell pepper and mushrooms that would be really yummy too so here are all my ingredients and literally Literally, guys, I'm just going to dump it and mix it, and then I'll show you how I create the topping. Okay, so this is what it looks like all mixed up. What I did is I reserved half of the shredded cheese for the top, mixed in our chopped pepperoni, our wheat noodles, our spinach, our pizza sauce, a little spoon of Greek yogurt, and now lastly what I'm going to do is think about like you would make it if you were making a pizza. You're going to top it with your cheese. And this has so many, this can be varied so many ways, like go with veggie, go with some good Italian sausage. The point is we like to make it really taste like pizza, the difference is to use actual pizza sauce. I did this one time with spaghetti sauce and it turned out fine, but it just tasted like, you know, a general Italian pasta dish, which was good, but it didn't have that pizza taste. So then I'm going to top it with our turkey pepperoni slices and the key is when you bake this to let that pizza I mean let that cheese and that pepperoni get really good and crispy on the top I ran out of pepperoni guy um, because that's kind of what reminds me of you know fresh out of the oven pizza is those pepperonis that are all cooked up and then my husband always orders jalapenos on his pizza so we're going to top this with jalapenos. And then we're going to give it a little shake. I did put some of this in with the actual mix. Um, a little shake of Parmesan cheese. And this is also a great opportunity to use up any dried herbs that you might have. Any of those good Italian herbs that you've got laying around or that are looking a little bit sad. Chop them up, throw it in here. Okay, so... At this point, you could either pop this in the oven for 375 until it's bubbly, the cheese is melted, and the pepperonis are nice and crispy. Or, as is, you can put this, cover it with foil, pop it in the freezer, and it's a great freezer meal. Generally, if you 
do freeze it. I pull it out the night before, leave it in the refrigerator. It'll partially defrost. It won't be like 100% defrost in the middle, defrosted in the middle. It'll still be a little bit cold, um, but you leave the foil on, put it in the oven, let it bake for a good 20, 25, maybe even 30 minutes. Then pull the foil off, let it bake for another few minutes just to let those pepperonis get crispy or even do it under the broiler. But if you do it under the broiler, Keep your eye on it. Don't walk away from it. It doesn't take long for the top to get nice and crispy. So there you have it, guys. This is our pizza bake casserole. I tried it a couple of weeks ago in the freezer, and we ended up eating it and loving it. So I hope you enjoy. So there's our pizza pasta bake. Um, if you enjoyed this recipe or you would like to see some more, let me know. Like I said, the cooking videos are a little bit harder to manage um, just because I don't have a really good setup right now as far as like a camera or um, a tripod. But I don't mind doing these that are easy and I can just show you the ingredients and I can have everything prepped and then kind of walk you through the instructions, freezing and baking process. So if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you'd like to see more. See you later, guys.